Well, Big Daddy, last year was the first year that they've allowed alligator hunting in Alabama for a long time. That's the first year ever, ever, ever had a, a legalized alligator hunt on the Alabama River. And they, they could hunt them between the Jones Bluff Lock and Dam, which is in Dallas County, to the Highway 84 Bridge in Monroe County. So it included Monroe, all of Wilcox, part of Dallas. Now this was the one that won last year, right? Well, this right here was what we call the fancy gator. It, it, it is the state record alligator, the biggest alligator ever harvested uh, during the, the legal alligator season in the state of Alabama. It's 838 pounds, 14 foot, two inches long. Have they ever caught a larger alligator? Uh, you know, you know I've done a lot of research and it's a lot of people that say they 20, 30, 40 years, I hear about 1,000 pounders that are 16 feet, but it's no, I can't find any pictures, I can't find any verification of them. Far as I know, and far as the taxidermist knows that, that mounted this gator, this is the biggest mounted alligator in the southeast and possibly in the world. It's a monster, that's for sure. They had some big ones in captivity, but I don't, I don't think uh, they were this big. Well, I talked to a boy that's got an alligator farm down in Baldwin County. He raises big alligators, and he said the biggest one that he's ever raised is a little over 13 feet. Yeah, they had one in Ponchatoula, Louisiana, in a cage there for people to see, and it was 13 and a half feet, but it wasn't nearly this big. Yeah, it's just a tremendous, tremendous animal, and uh, this is probably the biggest animal in the state of Alabama, wild animal in the state is of Alabama. Right? Yes, sir. Well, well, there might, anything else? You know, it might, there bigger? might be some hogs out there. I don't know. I don't Hogzilla, know. you know. <laughs> well, well, tell us a little bit about the story. Well, last year, and of course, y'all know I do an outdoor radio show, and I try yeah, to keep up, it, yeah. keep up with what's going on. And we were real excited in Wilcox County about this alligator uh, season because it never been one here. And we really didn't know what to expect, and of course we didn't have any idea yeah. that they were going to harvest the state record alligator right here. But anyway, the guys that, that harvested it were on a pontoon boat. It was seven of them from Shelby, Alabama, which is North Alabama. Keith Fancher, who had the tag, uh, was actually an alternate when the tags were drawn, and one person dropped out, so he got to get a tag. Wow. And he brought the guys down here, and the... The uh, first night they went out, which was on a Friday night, they hooked up with this big joker and he was right between Pine Barren Creek and Foster Creek on that high rock wall on the north side of the lake. And uh, it was in Wilcox County. Now do they set lines for gators here? No, how, no, how, no, how you can't do that in Alabama. But how's it done here? You have to hunt them at night, number one. Okay. You know, everybody watches swamp people. Well, yeah, I, I know how we hunt them in Alabama, Louisiana. Hunt them in Louisiana. Yeah. We have to hunt them in Alabama at night from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. And you have to use some kind of device to hook up the gator, whether it's a deep sea fishing rod and reel or a crossbow or some kind, something. Okay. You got to get so the gator. So you spot it. And you, you got to spot and you, it and you, first. And you either grapple it or you bow it or whatever. That's right. You got to hook it. Huh. You got to get it to the boat. It's a six foot limit. How you get an 800 pound alligator to the boat? I think, the, I think he would take the boat wherever he wanted Those guys, They did, he said it took him an hour and a half to get him to the boat. They put, he pulled that, pon, that 20 foot pontoon boat up on the limbs. And that's one thing. Like that he didn't pull it under water, man. <laughs> well, you, 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 should, you should interview the fancy guy. It's quite a story on the, on the battle wow. with this gator right I here. I bet. And then they got it to the, uh, to the boat and dispatched it. Yeah. Right. Which is the... After the, they the, measured it to make sure it was six feet. <laughs> I don't yeah. think they had any problem mm -hmm. knowing this one was... His six feet, feet are six feet, man. <laughs> and, and when they dispatched it, it, they had to pull it out in deep water, and it sank. Oh, Lord. And when it sank, said it took them longer to pull it up off the bottom than it did, you know, the whole other time. And then they had to just tie it to the pontoon and idle back to the landing. And... Uh, do you recall how they, what they dispatched it with, with the 30 odds? It is a, it, I, I, I should know this, it is a caliber uh, law, it is a rule of what size gun or bang stick you yeah. can use, but I do know. Minimum know. caliber yeah. type thing? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, it is. Because, I mean. Good gracious. The brain in that thing's only about that big. Yes, and I would a certain not, spot in the head that you, that it's, you There's a little soft it. spot right here. We yeah. learned that when we did our Louisiana 
a hunting show, and it uh, yeah we, after the first couple of misses we had we had a six footer down there, and I missed two times before I hit it. So I mean, whatever <laughs> you know, it was several seven hundred pounders and several five hundred pounders really? caught also last year. Out of the fifty tags last year, forty gators were were brought. Well, that's to the great. Scale, so. so basically, you go out in the river and you spot the gators. Yeah, and you, you got you got to you got to engage them some kind of way. That's right. right. You got you got to hook them up. Or, hook them up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and I've been told that. Uh, the the spinning the big spinning reels are better. Mm -hmm. uh, he said to to hook them up you with. Set the hook. Huh? But the, you know then you but have then to what? put two <laughs> hooks on. You get you get a, one of those big casting reels. Uh -huh. But you need to get yeah, two like hooks. Something on. with one of those big pen right. reels. Yeah, or something like, like, like deep sea fish out with. Mm -hmm. And they, they they just throw it over the top of them and and uh, and pull one of those treble hooks into With them. With barbless treble hooks, they say they use, they saw the barb off the treble hook because it's, the skin is so darn tough that it don't it, you you really don't need that barb on there once you get them in. And they tell me now that a gator, especially one this size. He's got some fight in him, but once you once they get tired, you know, it's the, the big biggest thing is just handling that much weight. Well, you know, I've noticed that since I've gotten this large, that I get tired <laughs> you easier get tired too. Easier, that's yeah. right. You tire a lot easier. You put a couple of a uh, couple shark hooks in me, and I'm probably not going to. Going to roll over, let them pull you in, huh? <laughs> but you know, we put this gator here uh, the month of May, and. Uh, our Chamber of Commerce, they really do kind of, I always say they think outside the box when they do stuff like this. Over a thousand people from out of the area have wow. been here to visit this gator. So it really has That's helped our amazing. little community bringing people in to visit. And uh, it's, it's quite an awesome sight, you know. Well, where's this gator going to end up uh, spending the rest of its life? We well, I guess it's not its life. The well, the guys that own it, have a have a plan for it. They, they first thing we're going to take it to Dallas County next, which is up the river, and then we're negotiating with Monroe County. We want those three counties to have the first shot at it, and then it's going to go on a little tour you know, around. You know, Alabama. the tour of sportsmanship. Yeah, you know? we, we 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 are, and uh, and then he wants it to end up someplace like this, yeah, or some type museum Big where state everybody, museum or some sort everybody right. can right. see it, brother. I mean, you wouldn't want to have this in your house unless you had a mighty big house. I trust me, we've got quite an investment in it right now. Bet, <laughs> We're right? trying to recover. I bet. <laughs> I tell you. It's... Would you like to share what the cost of uh, of uh, mounting something like this is? Well, mounting it, moving it, you know, the, the signage and everything, you know, you're looking at about eight grand. Okay. Well, that doesn't surprise me at all. It's a lot of money, but it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't surprise uh, surprise me at all. You know, you ought to start some sort of a of a benefit to it. You know, to preserve this, and you yeah. could very easily start a start a nonprofit, and people could contribute. Well, we like to lost it, believe it or not. Keith Fancher called me six days after he caught it, and he said, "Big Daddy, we got to do something with this alligator." I have, he was unemployed at the time, mm. and he had spent six hundred dollars icing it down in the oh, back of his pickup truck. <laughs> And nobody in North Alabama would fool with it. Well, yeah. Woo! So, I wish he'd have called. So I had, well, he called me, and I had a friend of mine in, uh, in uh, Otogaville that, that mounted it, uh, uh, Morris Lipham and Ken Owens, and they were reluctant on taking it, but boy, didn't they do a great wow, job. Wow, they did a great this job. This is absolutely beautiful. They got a deer of mine right now. I hope they do as good a job <laughs> on my deer. That ought to be easy compared to Yeah. This. Well, they said that they, they got a real small studio, and once they got it mounted, they would roll it outside during the day to dry. Oh, yeah. And they said, it, it, you know how close they are yeah, to Highway 4. Yeah, they're right on the highway. And they said it stopped the traffic. They had to roll it back in because so many people yeah, were stopping. Yeah, it's right there. That sidewalk is the street right there. That's and I can't imagine there's any uh, forms out there for an alligator this big. This form right here, he ordered the biggest crocodile form in the world. And he had to... He had to fabricate it. Up, yeah. He had to fabricate it. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That really is. Big Daddy, we thank you Thank a whole you, guys. Lot. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Good seeing you, you again. Good to see y'all anytime. Appreciate everything y'all do for our area.